Again, salatu wa salamu ala Sayyid al-Mursaleen. So inshallah, today is our last day of, uh, inshallah, we'll be finishing the Qur'an today. A very joyous occasion. Um, we're going to be reading the last juz, inshallah, the 30th of juz. Now, I'm going to keep it very short today, inshallah. Today's also going to be the last halaqa that we're going to be doing uh, because we're finishing the Qur'an. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to keep it very short, but I just want to give us all a little bit of... Um, Food for thought, insha'Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Adiyat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَالْعَادِيَاتِ ضُبْحًا فَالْمُورِيَاتِ قَدْحًا فَالْمُغِيرَاتِ صُبْحًا فَأَثَرْنَ بِهِ نَقْعًا فَوَسَطْنَ بِهِ جَمْعًا إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لِرَبِّهِ لَكَنُودٍ Very beautiful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَالْعَادِيَاتِ ضُبْحًا by those horses that, sn- that are snorting or panting. So if you imagine like this horse that is running, and if anybody has ever ridden a, ridden a horse, that, that snort that the horse makes when it's really running really fast, right? By the horses that are snorting. And striking up st- of sparks of, of fire with their hooves when the, when the horse has those uh, horseshoes on and it hits some rocks and there's like the sparks that come out. So this horse is running really fast, it's panting, there's sparks coming out when it's running. And they are launching raids in the morning. And they are rising, they are stirring up these clouds around themselves. And then these horses, they go and they penetrate into the heart of the enemy lines. Allah sometimes says, by the horses that do this, by the horses that do this, by the horses that, that are snorting, by the horses that are striking striking sparks, by the horses that that are launching their raids in the morning, by the horses that are stirring up these clouds, by the horses that are penetrating into the enemy lines, the heart of the enemy lines, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that in, indeed the human being is very ungrateful to his Lord. Now what is the relationship here? That this horse that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking about, this horse is doing all of this for his master. He is doing all of this for his master because his master gave him a place to sleep, because his master gave him some food, because his master washes his, uh, takes care of his coat, because the, because of the master does a little few things for him. And this horse is ready again against all animal instinct. Animals will never go where there is danger. Animals always run away from where there is danger. But this horse goes against its every instinct because his master wants him to. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the master has given this horse just food, just, just drink, just a place to stay, just as taking care of him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you existence. You breathe because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows you to breathe. You see because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows you to see. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the sun for you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the earth for you. That indeed the human being is very ungrateful to his Lord. That this horse, no matter where the master tells him to go, he will go. If it's hard, he will go. If it's easy, he will go. If he feels like it, he will go. If he doesn't feel like it, he will go. Why? Because his master said so. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all a true understanding of this. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us true abad of his, true servants of his, and true, true in our servitude for him. Ameen, ya Rabbi.